So I got a comment recently that I completely glossed over at the time because I thought the answer was obvious, but then I realised that I thought the answer was obvious because I'm someone that does lucid dream regularly. And for someone that doesn't lucid dream and has never had a lucid dream, the answer might not be so obvious. So what was that question? What was that comment? Well, the question in that comment was, what is the actual point of lucid dreaming? And that's a good question. So let's try and answer that right now. So the point of lucid dreaming is really gonna vary from person to person. Like any hobby, different people get into it for different reasons. Now, the very obvious point of lucid dreaming for a lot of people that are getting into it for the first time is to have fun with it. Essentially, with a dream, you have an entire world inside your head where you can touch things, taste things, smell things, and everything feels pretty real. You know, it might not be a one-to-one -one carbon copy of the real world because, you know, in a dream you can turn around and suddenly the thing that was there a moment ago is now gone. So there are some quirks that mean that you can't do everything that you can do in the real world, but it's a very, very close replica of the real world and it's also a very, very close replica of any other world that you can imagine, whether it be a world from a video game or a world of your own creation, whether it be a distant planet that you've never been to, anything that you can imagine, you can go to that place. Any object you can imagine, you can pick up, you can touch and you can find. So a dream is like this sandbox inside your head where you can create anything and do anything. So for obvious reasons, that is a whole lot of fun because in your day-to-day -day life, you are limited by a lot of rules. From the rules of physics, to the rules of your day-to-day -day schedule, to the rules of the fact that you're stuck in a particular country and, you know, if you want to get from that country to Mars, you somehow need to get on a rocket to do that. In a dream, none of those things are obstacles to you. You can, you know, click your fingers and go from point A to another planet. You can ignore gravity and just get up off the ground and start flying. You don't have to worry about interrupting your work day or your schedule because you're currently asleep. So a dream is the ultimate playground and getting lucid and being able to recognize those dreams and then take control over them means that you can do whatever you like during that time. Not to mention that this is time that you're already asleep. So it feels to me like once you know that lucid dreaming is a thing, if you're not doing it at least every so often, then it seems kind of like a waste to me because it's not like you're saving that time in any way, the time that you spend lucid dreaming. That time is already spent asleep and for most people not even remembering the dreams, the regular dreams that they're having during that time. So why not learn to lucid dream, take back that time and actually have some fun during it? Especially since a lot of us don't have that much free time. You know, if you're working all day and then you've got a million and one chores when you get home and then, you know, you've got maybe like an hour or two to watch some Netflix before bed and you know you don't even really enjoy it because you're so tired from the day, then having the ability to lucid dream at night and actually get a bit of fun before you wake up in the morning and have to start it all over again is a great thing. But of course, it's not just about the fun side of things. Now it can be, you don't have to use lucid dreaming productively. I like to use lucid dreaming productively, but just because I do some things or you know, whatever other YouTuber you watch does certain things, doesn't mean that you have to do those. If you just decide that you just wanna do lucid dreaming for fun, then great, do that. But you can use it for other things. Let's say you have a fear you wanna face. Well, you can do that in a safe place in a lucid dream. You can actually use it to practice for sport. As you might know, if you're involved in any sport, at high levels, people often use a lot of visualization to help them with their sport. They will actually visualize themselves going through the motions, mentally feeling themselves performing them, and that will actually help them perform better on the day. Well, what if you could take it a step further and not just visualize something in your mind's eye, but be there in person actually doing it? Well, you can do that in a lucid dream. And in fact, I actually like to tell this story because I did something very similar. Um, when I first started working out, I couldn't do a single pull up. And I actually ended up practicing in my dreams because I thought, hey, you know, I know the motion for a pull up. Like I can practice the motion um, I just can't feel what it's like to do one yet because I don't have the strength. And you know, I can do like negatives and so on to get myself to that point. But I thought, hey, why not actually practice the full range of motion in a dream where my strength is not an obstacle? And so I did that and then I ended up being able to do one in the real world shortly after. I also think lucid dreaming is productive in the way that it alters your experience of day-to-day -day reality. 
it really sort of opens you up to the fact that seeing something doesn't make it real. Because I think we automatically accept the world around us as, you know, everything that we see is just the way that it is. Because, you know, we wouldn't see it if it wasn't that way. But once you have a lucid dream where, you know, you go up to an object and you just touch it and you have this experience of this dream object that feels like a real object, then you suddenly start to realise, wait, my senses are very good at tricking me. They can create this very realistic experience that feels like real life but isn't. So why am I so blindly trusting all of my day-to-day -day experiences as well? Could it be possible that some of those are misleading me as well? And I feel like if nothing else, having this mindset helps you be a little bit more cautious from day to day in your life because you don't take everything at face value so much because you know that your mind can play tricks on you. And lucid dreaming is also in of itself a sort of form of meditation because the steps that you take in order to get you lucid are very similar to the steps that you take in order to become present in day to day life. Dreaming and day to day life are linked a lot more closely than we might like to believe. I think the reason that our dreams are usually not very conscious and not lucid most of the time is because we're that same way in waking life. We see ourselves going about our dreams on autopilot as if it's not us controlling them. But what we don't always take notice of is the fact that we're exactly the same way in waking life. We feel like we're in control, but most of the time we are actually just running on autopilot and not really present. So when you're actually working to get off autopilot in your dreams, it's also having a bit of an effect on your waking life and vice versa as well. If you start meditating and trying to become present in waking life, you'll find that that actually affects your dreams and you start becoming lucid in your dreams, even if you're not performing any other dedicated lucid dreaming techniques. There are heaps of benefits to lucid dreaming and I could go on and on for days, but I really just wanna come back to that point I made earlier. Remember, you're sleeping at night every night anyway. That time is gonna be spent whether you like it or not. Do you wanna spend that time unconscious, just losing that time forever? You know, you spend a third of your life asleep. Do you just wanna lose all of that time or would you like to get some of it back? Personally, for me, I wanna use as much of the time that I'm here on this earth as possible because life is short and I don't know what happens afterwards. I'd love to think that, you know, I come back and get reincarnated or that there's something after death, but I don't know that, you don't know that, no one knows that. So why don't we make the most of our time here, regardless of what we do or don't believe? And I'm sure you're doing what you can to try and make the most of your waking life, so why not do the same in your sleep as well? Now, if you'd like to learn more about lucid dreaming, remember I have hundreds of videos on this channel, so be sure to subscribe and enable all notifications so you can check those out. And if you wanna learn more in depth, then check out my lucid dreaming book, The Lucid Dream Book. There'll be a link to it in the top right-hand corner or down in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you wanna keep watching, check out one of those videos on screen, go watch that, and I'll see you there soon. Take care.